hey guys hey everyone how are y'all doing it's your girl twin d and welcome to my channel if it's your first time here welcome 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 and i'm sure it won't be your last <laughs> let's give god thanks for bringing us here together safe and sound alive and well so we can be together once again let's jump into your message our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen all right guys pisces pisces let's see what's going on for you and i'll be doing the individual signs after the general so stay tuned for that. Okay, let's see what's going on for Pisces, please. And keep in mind, it could be either your masculine or your feminine energy. Oh my gosh. It's a lot. You have the Empress, Earth sign. One, one, one. This is achieving everything emotionally. Physically, getting everything that you want, getting everything that you desire, one, two, three, working towards everything that's meant to be yours, putting in that hard work. The Knight of Pentacles, another earth sign. Putting in the hard work. Gaining clarity, gaining understanding, because before you were blind and you were confused and it's like now you're getting out of that energy. Now you're realizing what it is to like fight for your life, like to improve yourself. Now you're knowing what that is worth. To work on yourself, to love yourself, to work for your heart's desires. See, Pisces, you have your heart blocked off. Maybe dealing with a, an air sign here, you have the ace, the king of swords, with justice and the nine of swords. That's a lot of air sign. That's a lot of action that somebody's taking here. A lot of understanding being gained. Somebody wasn't being truthful to themselves, I'm getting. Like wearing a mask. Oh, I forgot. It's done. Oh, well, look. The Queen of Swords. You are be you are dealing with your counterpart here. You're dealing with your counterpart, the person you're meant to be with. All right, Pisces. Let's see what this Empress is about. What is this Empress about for these Pisces, please? The hermit like I said it's about self-fulfillment healing restoring balance within you three 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 harmony fulfillment love peace commitment getting all that you desire Pisces everything that you want is just coming towards you tell me about this knight of Pentacles please yeah, there was a lot of confusion here in somebody's life, whether this is your life here or your person's life. But now this person is inspired to move forward towards their dream because there was some sort of epiphany. There was some sort of change. Now this person is looking towards harmony, self-love. And this king of swords, please, the five of swords. Yeah, they're gaining clarity. They're gaining clarity and they, now they're going to make that choice. Now they're going to make that choice. That This choice is about their fulfillment. Could be dealing with an Aries with the Tower card here. We have Fire Sign. And more air. So, I'm getting like there was some lies told here. That this person held on to. That this person... This person just did not believe what lies they heard that it, that it was true 
But it's like it's that revelation that's causing this person to see truth for what it is. And they're holding on, they're having faith that things will. Wow. Wow, 515 and 1, 2, 3. Now they're having faith, hope, trust that things are going to be the way that it is supposed to. That they will experience justice. Because it's like none was being served before. Turn about this Knight of Swords. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, no strength, no power, no energy, no self love, no self appreciation. And this person reflects that to somebody else, 555. So it's like they're working on that change. That's how they're going to get to this total fulfillment by completing that cycle. So Pisces, you are going through some massive changes here. You are healing from within and you are starting to acknowledge true love and peace for what it is. There was a sudden change in your life that caused you to like give a second thought to your connection or whatever it is in your life here. And you're heading down a new road, a new path. Yeah, man, you're walking away from something here. Eight of Cups, you're walking away from something that you had invested in. And as I said, it's going to be very fast. Fast action. Very, yeah. Very, very fast. You have clarity about this connection, about this soul connection now. Now you have clarity. Now you have understanding. And you can't wait. To move towards them. Look at that. King for queen. King of swords, queen of swords. It's like you two are in the same energy here. It's like you're in the same energy. Waiting for each other. Wondering what the other is doing. Let me tell you, there are some massive changes happening in one of your life. Whether it's your life or your person, but there's massive change in it. Massive changes, healing and growing. Let's see what's going on for the individual signs now. Pisces dealing with an Aries. Let's see what's up for you guys. You have the Queen of Swords. Clarity and understanding. Clarity and understanding because this person has something planned and it is involving their destiny. I, this person is trying to make a, a decision, a choice because it's like they're trying to decide which road to take. They're taking their time at this because they don't want to mess it up. They don't want it to go wrong. They're seeing this brand new opportunity and they're going to take it. They're going to take it. They're praying that this opportunity that they're going to move towards is going to bring them abundance. What's the outcome, please? Mm -hmm. See, they're planning already. Planning on leaving home. Wanting things to be balanced. These things have to change. Things have to change here. Look out for communication, Pisces. Deal with an Aries. Look out for communication. This person is very passionate about you. This person is holding on to the love that they have for you, that they feel for you. You give them strength. But there's something that's holding this person back that makes them feel weak, that makes them feel like, well, they can't do anything right. And they're coming back to close this cycle out because they know it's not over with you and them. They know this situation is not over.
they're ready for that brand new opportunity ready to change your path Pisces dealing with a Taurus let's see what's up for you guys Pisces dealing with a Taurus somebody's taking that leap of faith somebody's moving forward somebody's no longer sticking behind oh my god the the, the three cards here they're major arcanas somebody's working on their stability working on themselves feeling happy and stable no longer depending on anyone but it's this healing process that they're going through that's bringing about this change that's allowing them to move forward whether you or your person is going through that healing process and when you're done you're gonna come out as the Empress truth and justice will be told things come into a sudden realization you letting go off of the burdens rushing forward to your person you want to give equally as much as you were being given so you got to end some things from within there is also a connection here that some of you broke away from you were hold on to it it was a toxic situation it was a toxic situation but it's like you're being freed no more deception no more lies oh wow the next three cards were in the reverse the tower and the nine of pentacles so somebody's not seeing themselves here as abundant like not good enough like that's the energy they're getting i'm not good enough Man, I'm hearing that song I talked about in my reading yesterday. Um, one more try. Okay, let's see what's going on for you here. Pisces dealing with a Gemini. The Three of Cups. There's a union coming in. A destined change a destined union two people who are different two people who are different coming together to heal each other's heart they're thinking about you they want to be by you they want to make love to you they want you in their arms Wow seven of Pentacles nine of Pentacles somebody's gonna be very successful here Somebody's going to be very successful. This person is your counterpart. You're meant to be with this person. And this person is meant to be with you. This person spent some time to figure out all that was around them. It was just lies, deception. Only love is real, right? That's what they're figuring out. That only love is real. They're putting things aside. Pisces dealing with a cancer. You're walking away from something that makes you unhappy. You don't want to move forward to it. You do not want anything to do with it. You are just not up for this situation. See, you're not fulfilled. This was a, a third party situation. There is a home here that you were involved in, Cancers or Pisces, that's not fulfilling you. That's not fulfilling you. And you're going to see the truth. You're going to see things clearly very soon. Things are going to be balanced. Things are coming to an end. That connection is coming to an end. And when you do, then you'll be in that Nine of Pentacles energy. That self-love. An eight of pentacles, the ten, nine, and eight, and the king of pentacles. This person has a lot of money, yo. This person is rich. <laughs> oh my gosh. This person has gone through healing. Like I said, balancing the physical and the emotional, the spiritual. Your person is having an understanding of both worlds. Which is why they're feeling so abundant because they're making it so 
They're fighting for themselves. Pisces dealing with a Leo. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. This person is not putting in any work towards this connection. They're not doing anything. At least that's what you're thinking. And that's what you're feeling. Well, this person loves you. This person wants to be around you. But there are things that they need to change. First off, they got to work on their insecurities. They got to drop burdens that are keeping them from moving forward. They got to go through this rebirth. It's like the, the people for this reading. Leo and Pisces. You're, it's like your person just recently started the journey. You have the two of wands and the five of cups. Oh my gosh, I keep, I don't know why. I keep hitting everything down. This person wants to manifest this love. This person has been away from you for far too long. This person regrets losing you in the past. They regret walking away from you. Because they became uninspired even though they had this passion burning inside for them it's like nothing was working out in their favor because they weren't with you see nothing was working out in their favor there was a ruling but not in their favor well very soon this person is going to be attracting that love that they desire Pisces dealing with a Virgo. Let's see what's up for you guys. Pisces dealing with a Virgo. Four of Pentacles. What are you holding on to? Wow. Whatever it is that you're holding on to is a burden. It's breaking your back. You need to let it go. You need to let it go. I think you're already seeing signs that whatever the situation is, it was a burden. Somebody was not being truthful. Somebody was not taking things seriously until somebody woke up here. Until somebody woke up and they're headed towards their counterpart. This person realized that the person they were holding back from is their true love, their true counterpart. And they're going to communicate with you in regards to this situation. So look out for some action. Look out for some action. They were in this energy of regret. Of lacking. That they don't have something. And that's the, three, the Ace of Pentacles. Bringing forth love. A big old offer. Bigger than what they would normally offer somebody else. Like I said, they've been manipulated. They've been hurt. They've been in pain. And temperance. Keeping that body clean. See, they were trapped. Keeping themselves trapped. With that burden, the Ten of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. It's a good thing they're healing from this situation and experiencing inner peace, inner harmony. What's the outcome, please? I see the Virgo. There's going to be some conflict here that somebody needs to get through, get past. They need to release some things. Maybe when they're releasing that energy, that's when things are going to get better. Because right now they're in heart and pain, heartache and pain. They're in heartache and pain right now. 
because it's like things are not working out the way they want it to so they're in their head nine and nine they're in their head a lot and the seven of wands defending their heart defending their heart this person doesn't want to be hurt again they don't want to be confused again they just want to be loved I want to be loved with no strings attached I want to give him my heart no longer take it back Pisces dealing with a Libra let's see what's going on for you guys there you are Libra so I'm guessing this is your energy there's somebody you're in love with that you should be moving towards but you're not the hermit you are to go within to find your true self and to see what this person means to you because you know it you feel it oh yes Lord you know it and you feel it that this is a spiritual soulmate connection but you're refusing it but not for long Libra, Pisces, not for long. Somebody's coming in. Somebody's coming in. It's time to be happy. It's time to give love. It's time to receive love. It's time for somebody to open up their heart and welcome in true love. Working together, building together, creating that happy family, happy life. Let's see, yeah. They have to break free. There's something they have to break, fr break free from leaving it behind, moving forward. Because whatever it is that you're holding on to is dragging them down. Pisces in with a Scorpio. There's a change. Somebody may be changing jobs. Some of you guys are just trying to get out of your heads, not listening to their intuition so they can gain clarity and understanding. But it's like now, they want to make things balanced, they want to put things back together because they're feeling that ten. Now that nine, nine of cups harmony. And the two, the page, I say two, and the page of pentacles. Put it in that hard work. Put it in that hard work. Getting ready to move forward. Getting ready to look for love. To look for happiness. Equal give and take. Equal give and take. Equal give and take. Wanting justice. See, temperance and the eight of wands. This person is taking their time, taking it easy because they know it's not healthy when they're upset, when they're angry. So you got to take care of them. They got to take care of you. They want to. They want to. A lot is going to be revealed. And it's going to allow them to show you what they truly want. Pisces dealing with a Sagittarius. Somebody's waking up. Somebody's seeing truth for what it is. Somebody has their heart blocked off. But they're going to put in that work to welcome those change. welcome the change putting an end to the negative thing things that made them cry things that made them cry your outcome so they're still gonna be in this energy it's gonna take them some time to get out of this energy because they weren't getting any love in the past and they thought it would be the same with you so they weren't extending their cup they weren't accepting yours either or this person is going through a rebirth and they are coming back with their heart in their hand. Page of Pentacles. 
hard work hard work is gonna pay off your hard work is gonna pay off somebody's coming to visit you somebody's standing in your strength and their power they're coming to offer you love show their emotion be happy be happy goodness and positivity awaits you Off again. Pisces dealing with a Capricorn. Oh my gosh, it came out for you too. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, nothing was flourishing. Nothing was was working out. This person only only was focused on their money, or was fo was just focused on their finances. No love at all. They blocked their heart off. There was maybe a third party situation. Yeah, there may have been a third party situation. This person has their heart blocked off because their heart was healed. What was was hurt and they want to heal that heart. But it's going to take some time. But they are going to come in. And when they do, it's going to be passionate. It's going to be passionate. Bringing in an offer. An offer of stability. An offer of abundance, union, prosperity. They're making the choices they need to make. Divinely guided. Divinely guided choices. So they can have that self-fulfillment, becoming who they truly are. Stand up and go rule their castle. So they're just around the corner. We want. They're just around the corner. They want to work with you. They want to be with you. They want to create with you. They want to create a family with you. With the Six of Cups, this person can't get you off their mind. They wish that they could. They had walked away from you or the other person here. And coming towards you or away from you. Pisces dealing with an Aquarius. Let's see what's up for you guys. Pisces dealing with an Aquarius. Here you are. Pisces. There was some deception that was found out. There was some deception that was found out. And somebody feels that not moving on anymore. Because there has been imbalances they want to make their life balanced they want this love they want to move forward to this love that they're feeling that they try to hide that they try to suppress but it never worked there you have them mental clarity and understanding and forward forward movement forward action Moving towards your desires. What's the outcome, please? For these Pisces, deal with an Aquarius. We have the Three of Swords, so something's going to break your heart here. Something that you wanted to reap, to achieve, but it's like it didn't come, come forward or didn't bear any fruits. Or even if it came forward, they didn't have anything good to say. Because they're in their emperor energy. So they may have come forward. Here you have the five of pentacles on the bottom. So it's like they're feeling this pity. Self-pity. But the greatest thing of all. They're going within to heal. Going within to heal guys. They're going within to heal. Taking some time out from the world. Going into like a, a little cave or something here. That's what I'm seeing guys. Saying bye bye. I'm getting this person may want to help you with this. Card deck thing. I think 
that's it. Oh my god. This one went by really fast. <laughs> Pisces. No, I'm doing Pisces now. Yes. Pisces dealing with a Pisces. It's your reading. How could I forget you? The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh my gosh, you don't feel like you're having this wonderful life that you dreamed of. You're walking away from a family situation. You're feeling victorious because you walked away here. You're feeling happy. You saw some truth. You saw something. You saw something. Something came to light. 3101. Something came to light that's bringing forth balance. That's bringing forth harmony and love. Pisces in the reverse. You're fearing something here. That's your outcome. Fear. Fear. Maybe fear of releasing something. Maybe it's that Ten of Pentacles that you need to release. Knight of Swords. Uh huh. Coming in very fast and hot. With this Page of Wands. Coming in really smooth. Because you need to mend something. You need to mend something. You need to go back to this connection here. That's why you're rushing in so fast. Because you don't want to lose this person. Maybe that's why you're scared. Because you don't want to lose this person. And now you have your heart in your hand ready to give to that person. Because, oh yeah. Because they're your happiness. You're ready to give to that person. And the Hierophant. Getting that commitment that you wanted. Yeah. Standing in your power, man. I am the king of the jungle. I am the emperor. I made my own decisions. I move towards whomsoever I want to move towards. And they're going to do it. Pisces, you're going to do it. You are fearing that change, but somebody's going to let go off of that fear so they can bring themselves justice. Well, Pisces, now I can say that's your reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing in advance. <laughs> Thanks everyone for your support. I love you all. If you would like to purchase my book, it's right here. Are you a twin flame? So you can help yourself understand what's happening in your journey, what to accept, what will not happen. And to see if you're dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame and what to do next. Take care of yourselves everyone. Love you all. Later. Bye.